Hey guys, what's going on? Crispy Vids back with another unboxing. So you can check out on my channel, I've done a recent unboxing of an Apple TV 4K and also I've just recently got a Yamaha AV receiver that's capable of 4K switching and 2.1 ports and all the rest of it that's set for PS5, yeah, Xbox X, um, Apple TV 4K, Netflix Ultra HD, everything that um, you need them to do. So one small thing is with the Apple TV 4K, you have to make sure that you've got the right HDMI cable. So I've done a fair bit of research on HDMIs and I've come to this GTEC Ultra 8K high speed HDMI cable. Um, this is one of the best priced HDMI cables around for what it does. Uh, it is exclusively sold through JB Hi-Fi here in Australia. So you can see here they're made by Laser Co. Um, and they are $99 for a 5 meter 2.1 8K HDMI cable. This thing has everything that you could possibly need at the moment. It's 2.1. It has 4K Ultra HD resolutions at 120 hertz with the 48 gigabits per second bandwidth. And you know that it's properly tested and certified because it's got the ultra certified sticker on it here. It's been tested with the Apple TV according to their website and their boxing. So you can just see here, you've got the 4K 120 Hertz, you've got high dynamic range, uh, HDR, you've got Dolby Vision and Atmos, um, eARC, you've got variable refresh rate for all your PS5 and Xbox X. Um, and it just gives a little blurb there, whether you've got any of that stuff, um, it's, this cable is gonna work. Comes with a lifetime guarantee, so make sure you keep your receipt, and a connection guarantee. So if your cable, if it doesn't work, um, they'll give you your money back. So just a little note here, this is on the Apple support page for the Apple TV. So to get HDR and Dolby Vision on your Apple TV 4K, you will need, it says to check your HDMI cable. So use the correct HDMI input and settings. Now make sure you check on your TV. I mentioned this in my unboxing of the Apple TV. Make sure you check on your TV and it says that here, some t televisions only support HDR on HDMI input two or HDMI input three. Now I did mention the LG PU 8000 in the Apple TV unboxing. I'll link that in the description below. Um, that it only does HDR and Dolby Vision in ports three and four on the HDMI inputs. So make sure you check your television's manual um, to identify which one does that. And then a little note here, it says to make sure you check your HDMI cable. So guys, if you don't have um, the right HDMI cable, you won't get the HDR and Dolby Vision from the Apple TV to the TV. So it just says there um, that you need to, Apple recommends HDMI cables that have compatible Dolby Vision mark as they have been tested with Apple TV 4K and a wide range of televisions. As an example, they sell on the Apple website, so of course they're gonna promote it, the Belkin Ultra High Speed HDMI cable. The only reason I didn't buy that is because I needed a five meter to get from my AV receiver up to my TV. So I just thought I would buy the um, five meter in the GTEC and I also got two 1.8s in the GTEC, same spec, same everything, just a shorter cable. Um, if there's any issue with your HDMI cable, you might see a message that says, um, HDMI cable may be having trouble maintaining a stable connection. You can check your HDMI cable connection if you go to settings, video and audio and select check HDMI connection to run a two minute test. If you still experience issues with your HDMI connection, check all your connections and make sure that the HDMI cable has the label compatible Dolby Vision. Um, I can't see anywhere on here where this does have a Dolby Vision um, on the box, but when you go to the website, just here, you've got Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So um, it's certified for all those audio codecs um, and video codecs, so that's great. Um, 
yeah, so let's um, pop this out and have a bit of a look at it and see what it's like, see what its flexibility is like, because um, you can have to put some of these HDMI's in quite tight spots in behind your TV if it's hung on a wall with a um, small bracket or something, thin bracket. Um, but let's have a bit of a look at it. So, wow, it is quite a thick cable, but it has a very nice braided um, cloth on the outside. So we'll, we'll get it out here and have a look. So it's a very, it's a decently weighted cable. Um, you've got very nice connectors on there. I don't know what these, I think the different colors indicate the length here because when you go to the laser website and look up cables, you can see here that the cables um, with different lengths have different colors. So you've got the three meter there that's got orange. They also do a 1.8 here. Um, so yeah, that's just a little thing to tell you how long that cable is. You've got nice gold plated HDMI connections there um, and the little 8K HDMI ultra certified symbol on the front there. So we'll just undo these and see if this is um, a flexible cable there. Just undo them and let's have a bit of a, yeah, that's quite, that's probably the tightest you'd want to bend it there. You don't want to bend it too much up at the connection point just there, but you'd certainly get that in around behind a, behind a TV and down a wall just like that. So yeah, very nice cable. I'll um, test it out and see how it goes. Well, that's the, um, that's the GTEC Ultra, Ultra 8K high speed HDMI cable guys. Thanks for watching. Cheers.